Into the golden years, 47 of them together. For Dave and Diana Watson, this 30-foot travel trailer hardly qualifies as the home sweet home they expected. You know, the first week, I thought this would be fun. Now it's just another of oh so many post-firestorm trouble tales. We heard a room filled with them today. This is not the way I expected anything to be. They're homeowner tenants of the Orchard in Santa Rosa, a burned down senior living community. It is now cleared and suspiciously, they say, devoid of construction. They and their lawyers smell a plot, hence a class action lawsuit. The older citizens feel like they're being pushed out because they want to bring new people, new owners in that can pay higher prices. If you move, what do they get? They get an empty lot and they put their own home on it and they make buku bucks. We did speak by telephone with Hometown America President Stephen Braun in Chicago today. He claimed to have no knowledge of the lawsuit. When we told him some of the charges, he described them as untrue. We asked him to elaborate. He said no comment until he sees the paperwork. It's immoral. That's former homeowner Deborah Collins. She and others are angry that Hometown America intends to charge rent again in September. They think it's a squeeze. We're leasing space here and we deserve to know what's going on. We don't like it. We're paying for an empty lot. They won't even let us put this unit on that lot. If it sounds complicated, it is. A post-firestorm landlord-tenant dispute on steroids. Hey folks, and welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. Well, it's not getting any better out here in Santa Rosa, California after the fires. The people that have been torched out over 11,000 homes have not been able to move back in. They found uh, benzene in the soil still. There's uh, Rebuilding is not being taken place because vulture capitalists are moving in to the area and taking over the properties. And then the properties that have the soil removed are finding they removed too much soil. And as I said, they're finding benzene in the soil, which is making it toxic for them to rebuild. Plus, there's additional costs and required solar panels on new homes. And the cost of securing just a loan in California has gone up. Low income housing is $117,000. The homeless problem is getting worse. They're moving from one site to another. Many are missing, gone somewhere. We can't find them, but they just keep kicking with a curb. People are parking in Kmarts and all over with their minivans and their, and their mobile vans. Never thought they'd be living there as you hear it, but they're stuck. They're homeless. They're on the road they're just been kicked to the curb literally and no one seems to care but the big profits amazon is getting into the homeowners insurance business yes to help just as california's insurance policies are going up ridiculously 97 percent of people's homes got torched do not have enough to rebuild and if we do declare it was a laser attack that's a terrorist attack and these people do not qualify if it's a terrorist attack for insurance that's a large reason why people will not talk about it that have lost their homes that it was a laser fire. But here they're calling drought, drought. Governor Moonbeam, Jesuit Brown, is saying that at the end of his term, he's going to put a 50-gallon per day limit on our water. And even though two years ago in 2017 we had the second greatest rain and snow, he's predicting there'll be great droughts. Water conservation is needed. They're going to fine up to $10,000 for fines for uh, water usage over allocation starting in 2022 as water private water rights are being taken away as well. But as Deborah Tavares and others have pointed out, we have all the water we want underground. They're just keeping it from us just like free energy. What a world it would be if we had free energy and ample healthy water for all. Well, there's a lot that are profiting, disaster capitalists profiting from the disaster. One of the local bigwigs is a guy named Bill Gallagher who went in right after the fires and got in behind the National Guard and cleaned out all the Oakmont senior living centers from the dead body so they wouldn't find them and whatnot. And the scumbag Royale is now rebuilding the property and selling them back to the people at inflated prices and profiting handsomely because he has a rebuilding company. And then there's uh, Darius Anderson, owner of the Press Democrat, another piece of work here in the upper left-hand corner you'll see. He owns the Press of Democrat, pg and lobbyist. He's the one that tapped James Lee Witt, the guy on the right, FEMA director, former buddy of Clinton, who runs the E5, E6 visa program, bringing over India and Chinese workers, giving them permanent status and taking away jobs for Americans. And then there's Robert Steele, who's the CEO or the uh, head of the board of directors at Redwood Credit Union, took in some 32 million donations from the fire. People have to borrow money from his bank at interest.
No money has been given to the people free that have been donated from the people to the people. Banks get in the middle disaster capitalism. Well, what is Mr. Steele's other job? He works as an executive for Global Alliance Capital, who makes money at, drum roll please, disaster capital insurance, as does James Lee Witt, who has disaster capital insurance companies called O'Brien DeWitt, part of the Secor company, made $15 million in the third quarter of last year about Hurricane Katrina, or Hurricane uh, uh, Harvey, and now with Santa Rosa fires as well. Fire, fire, fire everywhere. The world's on fire. We're seeing fires and floods going off. It's the new norm. They're setting the world on fire. St. Ignatius, get it? Ignite. Ignatius set the world on fire. We had 1,600 or so lightning strikes hit Oregon, though people said they never saw the lightning strikes cause massive fires there. But I want to keep the focus on the Santa Rosa. They said it was the winds, the winds, the storms came out of nowhere. Middle of the night, died down by 8 o'clock the next morning to 5 miles an hour. How does that happen? What kind of storms came from the east? Bunch of baloney. Well, the fire captain, Ken Pimlot himself, the fire chief of Cal Fire, says, there were 170 fires started that night nine different counties and he's only been able to explain away 12 of them mr pimlot here with his little dome and over the house kind of thing a little play on flat earth and whatnot as they dig into us has failed to explain of 158 out of 170 fires mr pimlot can you explain how they flip over 3,000 pound cars in the middle of the night in one night over a dozen of them flipped on their roof just like other places we've seen can you explain sir how houses get cut in half but leave the trampoline untouched can you explain any of this this is why he can't talk because he has no explanation no trees fell on pg and &E power lines that have been shown as proof yet that's what they're claiming how do trees burn from the inside yet the vegetation does not get burned all right, I'm going to leave it here. You're getting the idea. We're not in Agenda 21, Agenda 23 in action, but we'll leave you with this little piece of work. But speak out, let your voice be heard, and peace and love one another. Hi, my name is Ed. People ask us here at PG&E, how did you guys really start the wildfires? Overgrown trees and the power lines? Heck no. It ain't easy burning down hundreds of houses. Real high tech. First and foremost, you gotta make sure all your houses have smart meters. That's crucial. Now, on the night you're gonna burn, you gotta chemtrail heavily. That makes the air more conductive. Next, turn up your cell towers to high. That's right, crank them puppies up as high as they'll go. With the chemtrails, this electrifies the air and gives you those beautiful little tiny blue sparks. Now, have local harp create a strong wind, and as a final stroke, boost up those smart meters that's right don't be shy turn them up all the way this turns houses into toast only really costs us 77 cell towers and some underground cable but don't try this at home we're professionals another rothschild utility no shit